Hi guys, it's Melissa from My Puzzled Life. Sorry I haven't done a video lately. Life's been kind of um, a roller coaster lately. So I'm trying to chill today. Sean's at work. Um, Mike is at work. So this is Sean's new project. Um, I'm gonna let him homeschool with this most of the year. Plus do some, of course, um, curriculum work. And sorry, there's jets going over. We have an Air Force base here. So they fly over this time of year. They kind of get busy, it seems. So um, school started here today, though, in town, but the public schools. But I told Sean we'll start with school work um, probably September sometime because honestly, with all that's gone on this year, I haven't had time to really get out and um, get a little bit more curriculum, although he has curriculum that he can start on that we're still not finished with. But this is his project. He bought this proudly himself, and it's a 98 Ford Mustang that he is going to rebuild. Um, Skyline Blue is going to be the color of it uh, with purple lights under it, purple lights in it, and the rims the guy did black that he bought it from. Um, I'm not sure if he's keeping on black. He had said he was, but I, I don't know. He saw some silver ones that he um, liked on a car. I don't know if it was today or last night. And there's a trash truck. It's not a trash truck. It's the um, recycle truck coming by. So might not hear me. This is the inside. Very clean. It's got a lot of work that the guy had already put into it. Unfortunately, the guy had lost his job and needed rent money. So he was asking hold on a second, over $1,200 for it in the beginning. He had posted it. He came down online, and then I told Sean to try to get him down a little more, and he came down to six. So I took him up to Oklahoma the other night, Sunday night, actually. He paid for it, looked at it and everything. And then um, Monday morning, my cousin drove him up there with a the trailer, and they loaded it up and brought it home. So this is his school project for um, at least a year, I'm sure. He didn't think it would take him that long, but this one part. Now, you have to mind, keep in mind, this kid has been raised without any kind of male figure pretty much whatsoever. So this is a um, kind of a labor of love for him, honestly, because he is um, learning it all himself. Now, Mike is trying to help him, I think, some but he works kind of late so maybe on the weekends but typically sean works days on the weekends but sean does come home i mean he's on this car almost every breathing moment unless he's sleeping or working he's on this car so um wish him luck anybody have any tips on how to get him started i don't even know what tools to get him the kids have been buying tools with tips and money and he's borrowing tools whatever he can do but right now he is working on the ignition when he went to get it, the guy couldn't find the key. He said he would mail it to him, and of course, being the 16-year-old that he is, and he takes that after me, you get obsessed, and you're not waiting for somebody to find a key. So we got, after he picked up the car, we went to all the auto stores, of course. That's what he wanted to do. And he bought the ignition for it. He bought a new knob for the, uh, it's standard. Because this car is, um, probably left that out. This car is intended mainly for racing and drifting. That is what he plans to do with this car. He is now looking for an import. I did tell him that he needed to um, get him a truck and a trailer so he can haul it. Of course, he didn't, he doesn't want anything to do with the truck, but you know, we're in Texas. I think once he also starts racing and sees people towing stuff and having their trucks and trailers, I think he may change his mind and hopefully get one. So, and we can always use a truck. Everybody in, can use a truck, especially in Texas. But we will see, and I will try to keep y'all updated as much as possible. I might do some little clips of them working on it and everything. He's got a friend that's German. Um, his parents are actually in the Air Force, the German Air Force, and they're stationed here because this is a NATO Air Force base. So they're stationed here and, um, He's a really sweet kid. He works at Pizza Hut with him. Sean will be 17 um, in October, and um, Joel, which is his friend, is 18. So, Joel is at school today. Sean messaged him earlier because Sean didn't realize he had to work today. He thought he worked this evening. So, he had to, I had to run him to work because I had to pick up the grocery um, order that I'm about to share with y'all as well. So, um, this is a big project that's going on. So, this has been taking up a lot of time getting there, um, getting paying getting there and coming back 
it was an hour there hour back so but it was nice to get out and but it was dark y'all i could tell y'all some scary stories that happened but i won't um but i'm gonna get this uploaded and i would really appreciate it if y'all comment like share um subscribe i'd really like you to subscribe i'm gonna start doing more i have cousins that are coming to town and moving in with us so i'm looking forward to that so we'll share some stuff with that and see what all happens in this crazy 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 life and drama and i know y'all have seen videos with billy in it and he's gone psycho again and he has been threatening sean for the last two days and I am just trying to deal with everything. And this psycho that's pulling up in front of the street, um, he's caused a lot of drama too. And um, I'm cutting all them people out. And he's about to have it hammered down on him as well. So, um, y'all keep watching. See what happens. I'm curious to see what this chapter brings. So, we will see what happens. There, the can y'all see without seeing my tags? He is a freaking psycho, just you know. But I will talk to you guys later. He's still going down the street, don't know what the freaking idiot's doing. Bye, y'all.